Okay. So, um, I've been on membership last so long. Thank you. One year. Okay. And at the end of one year, what happens? Renewal. Renewal. Okay. Do any of us have a decision process that takes that happens? And so, do I renew? You do, don't we? Yes. Okay. Nope. okay. <laughs> okay. So at that point in time, what do we base that decision of renewal on? Value. 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 Yeah? So the question is, is it worth me being here next year, correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, if I can ask everyone to put their phones down, this is the educational slot, that would be really cool. Okay. See? First part of education is to be listening. All right. So at that point in time, what kind of value are we looking for? What, what is value from B&I? Close business. Okay, close business. Okay, number one. Anything else? Network. Network. Connection. Support. Network and connections. Tell me what you mean by that. Partners. What do you mean by that? What's the result? Building relationships. What's the result of all this? Business. This is all features. What's the benefits? Business. What the business. Okay, more business. Okay. Okay, so there's three things you get from B&I. One is information. Okay, tips from other industry experts that can save you time and effort, correct? The other thing would be support. People that help us when we're down, lift us up when we're depressed, correct? Friends, look at all our socials, okay? And the other thing is business, okay? So at the end of the year, we need to look at all these and say, is it worth renewing next year? The big one, however, has got to be business, is it not? Yes, sure. Okay, because at the end of the day, if, you're, if you've got a job, you need to go back to your boss at the end of the year and say, I've earned this from BNI, otherwise what's not going to happen? Renewal. They won't renew you, they'll say, well show me the money. Correct? For those, those of us who are business owners, who do we go back and justify that to? Ourselves. ourselves. So if we want to fool ourselves, it's quite easy to fool ourselves and just renew. Because we love being patted on the back and having a laugh, no? Okay, but at the end of the day, it's about business to feed our kids, to feed our families. So we need to get business, correct? So my question is to you guys, how much is a return on investment from BNI? Uh, from BNI, how much is a return on investment? The value of the seat. The value of your seat. So, how much is your seat costing you each year, though? Okay, because we have an average seat value on here. Now, my question is: Let's not live in a world of delusion. And who's actually earning that? That's an average. So we can all sit here and go, "Whoop, do do!" You know, this is the seat value. How much are we earning? How much are we taking home in our pockets? And by the way, if we're not taking that home, whose fault is that? Ours. Ours. No one else. It's not the chapter's fault. It's our fault. Okay. So how much do you want to earn so at the end of the year, when, they, when Reem comes chasing you down and says it's renewal time, Phil, how much do you want to turn around and say, I mean, how much is that value for you? That there's no thought about this. I'm in. There's no way I'm going to lose my seat because my competition could take that next year. What is that amount? For me? For you. Okay, so let's have this discussion. A lot of people may not have thought about this. So how much is BNI currently costing? What's the, what's the investment in BNI? 10,000 dirhams a year. Okay, let's break this down. What's your membership? 4,200. 5, okay. Fees every week? 100. Oh, you've got to add it up as well, mate. So 100 times 50. Is, yeah? Okay, now here's the question people are not thinking about. If you had to bill a client an hour for your time, what would you bill? What's your hourly rate? It depends. It varies from one It depends for everybody. Average. But how much would you bill? You can work it out for yourself based on this is how much I need to earn a month. You can divide it by 40 and that's your hourly rate. Exactly. If I was going to hold you here after this meeting when you really want to get away, how much would I have to give you for an hour of your time to stop you working? So what is that hourly rate? For a lot of us, it might be 250, some people 500, some, some people 1,000 or more. What is your hourly rate? So if we just said it was 500 dirhams, let's just say 500 dirhams an hour, okay? How many hours are you putting into BNI? 150, three hours a week. Really? Really? Okay, so you've got, okay, you've got drive to BNI in the morning, You've got being here for an hour and a half. You've got the time afterwards. You've got the time driving to one-to-ones. That's an hour, just driving there. You've got the time at the one-to-one. -one. You've got the time driving back. 
Then you got some people are doing for thirty or forty one to ones. That's eighty hours a month. How much are you spending on B and I? Ten hours per week. My question is, if you add all this together, for most of us, if you're being completely honest with yourself, if you're not earning 150 to 160 thousand dirhams a year net, you're not maximising your time here. Good question. What about investing in it like a farmer? What do you mean? You're putting in your time, building your network. And eventually you give your business. Okay. So what BNI says is being here for a year, and it actually BNI actually says when you join, if you're here two to three years, then that's when you really start to get the results because it takes time to farm. Okay. So in your first year, we maybe don't expect to get as much back. I didn't in my first year got nothing. Okay. But it, how many business owners are willing to? No matter what BNI told you, at the end of that year, you still go, "How much did I earn?" And then what we do is we start blaming everybody else. Okay, so if we want, can you add that up for me, mate? If you really want to be maximizing this, how do we maximize it? <laughs> Can someone do it for him and just tell him the number because he's on the spot? Okay, okay, let's see. I, I, Don't say anything, let me keep talking. Okay, okay, so I want you to think about this, okay? You're going to get to one year, you're going to get to two years. If it's not working, what do a lot of people do? Right. Leave and change chapters. Oh, my chapter doesn't work, I'll go to another one. Or I'll go to another networking group. Or I'll do another this. And all you're doing is jumping from one place to the next to the next. b and is a farm, you've got to make it work. But if you want to go farming, let's face it, you don't just open up a farm and say, let's go. You have to learn how to farm. So how do you want to maximize it? How do you want to hit this, guys? Oh, nice. So how much do you want to be, what do you have to do to hit that? Because we want to help you get there. We don't want people leaving. We want everyone smashing that. So how do you earn that? What are you going to do? What are you not doing? What do you need to keep doing? And what do you need to stop doing to hit that? So I would ask you right now, what do you need to keep doing? Write it down. And what do you need to stop doing to hit that? And what do you need to do new? Three things. What do you need to keep doing? what you need to stop doing, and what you need to start doing to make sure you're earning that. Thank you.